What up, bitches? We're in Jimmy John's. Uh, the song's over, and I'm about to do the robot, man. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, here comes another one. Here comes another one. All right, videotape me for it. This really isn't uh, the music <laughs> for this. What is this some David Bowie shit? I'm gonna dance till I can't no more When you come through the door, find me on the floor Cause I'm gonna dance till I can't no more When you come through the door, find me on the floor One second, let me get the settings down. This is our first go around. And be happy and smiley. Okay. Okay. I'd like to thank Keith from Kelfus for being here cleaning our windows and our mirrors. They did an excellent job. This is the first time we've had him here, and I'm sure that we'll have him here year after year because of the excellent cleaning that they've done when they left here. You couldn't tell that they did any work at all. Everything shines so good. The, the windows are just like crystal. They sparkle and they're, they work very hard. And we're very pleased and we would recommend them to all of our friends and families. Perfect. And then one more thing. We put your hand back on his. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Water for the pole. Cleaning windows huge house over 140 windows in this house force is good at it too look at that water fed pole with one hand scrubbing everything. Every nook and cranny and crevice and all the cobwebs and spider webs thoroughly, all the dirt. And you're gonna let the water sheet down the glass to the boar's head brush. It's got hundreds of, thousands of contact points that agitate all the dirt in the glass. The ionized water, now that he's sheeting it down the glass, you see, it's gonna rinse. And it's sheeting all the dirt particles. The ionized water is hungry water. It sucks all the, any, uh, minerals off the, gl the glass, calcium, magnesium deposits. If you were to do that with regular tap water, what it would do is it would leave spots. This dry is crystal clear. Kind of, kind of beat the rain here. A little bit of water seeking in. That's why I'm standing here at this account, especially. Water seeps in. See that? I bring a whole bucket of towels with me. Cause you, you do a water-fed pool to a house that you don't know the seals. One out of hundred, one out of a hundred houses, or say one out of. 50 houses, I don't know. But you do it and you get wood all over someone's mahogany wood floors, water on their floors, dude, you're donezo. So, one thing to look out for. You should drink it. Drink it. He's drinking it. It's good. <laughs> he's, he's drinking ionized water. It's awesome. So if I'm cleaning a customer's windows and I mess up their rug, these sh uh, shag fibers like that, I literally will kneel down and fix it. Because you never know how meticulous people are and how many little things they notice down to the microscopic piece of dust. I literally think on that level because they think on that level. That's what I think. <laughs>
Another thing is, done cleaning the customer's windows, Swiffer all their hardwood floors. How do you know you didn't leave a drop of water, a single drop of water? Swiffer all the floors. And when I'm done cleaning all the windows, I do final inspection very slowly and calmly. <gasps> and look at this, I found an entire window that was missed and wasn't done. So now we gotta get out all the equipment again and redo this one window, period. Literally, if you even see a speck that's eye level. In this video, I wanna talk about stress and managing stress. Last month I was super stressed out to the point of like <laughs> sick in the head, stressed out, getting no sleep. And uh, I got a, I got a coach that I call when I'm going through stuff, right? And he helps me organize the neurons in my brain. But anyways, he said something I want to share with you that was powerful. I was like, uh, hey, uh, Rob is his name you've seen him in my videos I'm like dude I'm so stressed out I, I got so much going on I can't even physically do it all right and after I explained it all to him he goes well it sounds like your train isn't set up enough he's speaking metaphors you can't take turns at such high speeds yet because you don't have the foundation in place to do that or the structure in place in your business and your life there's not enough, uh, like, strong uh, integrity, or he'll call it, like, crazy words, like, masculine consciousness, which would be, like, the consciousness of, like, of a general or a king or a CEO or something like that. Your consciousness would be really tuned and developed. He says, so you, your train can't take turns at such high speeds. Man, the sun's right in my eyes. He says, what I would suggest is slowing the train down temporarily so you can take those turns at high, you know, at slower. And I said, oh, slow the train down, slow down everything, and it's worked tremendously for it. All right, I gotta take this call. Hello. And the most important part of having your own or starting your own window cleaning business. You gotta eat good food, bitches. We're at Las Tortugas. Amazing, delicious Mexican food. It's gonna be amazing. They love you, man. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> And we're live on Periscope too. So we're discussing. We're discussing. If you found ten thousand dollars in cash, well, we just can keep sitting it. there. But if you found Alone. a wallet with a bunch of credit cards in it, we gotta you know, give that back. Gotta give it back. But if you found ten thousand dollars in cash, the problem is you don't know someone's ID. Of course, you gotta give it back, right? But you gotta yeah, find the right owner of. What's up? Another quick little tip is you never want to force screens out. There's always a way that they come in and out like a puzzle. And be very careful. Look for these pressure fittings. See? Come on, zoom. Why does this camera take so long to zoom? It's as expensive as this camera is. See? Press them in. Uh, these seem to be that you gotta tuck it in this bottom lip. And then the top comes out. But you can't get the top out. 
because the blinds are in the way. These little tabs sometimes they'll be beaten by the sun and all wilted out. You pull it and it'll just break and fall off. So you, sometimes you can give a screen a little bit of force, but I mean, you can't break it. Normally you want to tell the customers that they got to remove all screens before we get here. Because if you pull a screen out and it breaks in your hand, now you got to fix a screen that was already broken. You know what I'm saying? And also jiggling. Never underestimate the power. Just kind of jiggling a screen. It works too. You just keep jiggling it until it comes out. But never force it or bend it. Whenever I open up any blinds, I always push with my hand at the same time to help assist it. All the top. If you pull a blind and you don't assist it, you should also tell the customer, which we didn't do here, that they got to, um, I got to tell Forrest, damn it. Oh. Can you, uh, either adjust the water-fed pole brush so it's angled up more or get closer so the plastic doesn't hit? Okay, because if the plastic hits the, if it's UV protector or anything, or scratches the UV, or you know what I mean. See how I can't get it past that, and this end won't come off because it's screwed in. So you're gonna have to bend it a little bit. That's what I usually get, right? Yeah. <laughs> now the massage chairs at lunchtime, bitches. That's why the camera be shaking. Oh, whoa, that feels good, eh? Geek. Like bosses, man. It's always nice to stop and have a little bit of a work day. Just relax for a few hours. The extended lunch break. Oh god, not even Italian. Water fed pole. Yeah, no ladders, dude. That's so awesome. Look how high up that is. That's crazy. 35 feet. <laughs> 